Hello everybody. In this video, we're going to go through how to install OpenFoam on Windows 10. And we're going to use this WSL, this Windows subsystem for Linux to do that. Uh, so OpenFoam is primarily developed and run on Linux. Um, and in Windows 10, um, they included something called WSL, which allows you to install Linux directly in, in Windows. So if you're using a Windows computer, this is probably the, the easiest way to install OpenFoam. So uh, just be careful, there are a variety of different versions and forks of OpenFoam out there that are all made by different companies. So um, I'm going to stick to OpenFoam versions, uh, say, 8 and 9 from openfoam.org, uh, but we could use any of them. So if you go uh, to your desktop and you search for a program called PowerShell or Windows PowerShell, here, open it up. This is like a terminal for a, a Windows. So inside this, we'll type a command that's going to install this uh, or enable this WSL, and it's also going to install uh, Ubuntu Linux. So Ubuntu Linux is probably the most popular and um, desktop version of Linux out there. So if you type WSL space as dash dash install, and you press enter, that will enable WSL, and then it'll also start to download Ubuntu. Um, so that may take some time depending on your internet connection um, and then it will install Ubuntu. As it's installing Ubuntu, it will ask them to restart your computer. So it just restart it and then when you uh, you re-log in, it, the installation for Ubuntu will, will complete. So I've done that already. Um, once it is complete, if you search here, you should find an app called Ubuntu here. Uh, so if you click uh, Ubuntu, it'll open up something like this. Very first time you open it, and um, it will ask you uh, for your uh, username and password. Your username and password. Um, so that would be just inside this Linux terminal. So um, I used my uh, username I use on my Windows or on my Mac called Philip C, but you can just use whatever you want. Um, and then just use some password that you won't forget. And you'll have to type in the password twice, and there'll be a, a a uh, cursor uh, blinking as you when you go to type your password so it won't show the characters that you're typing so there's nothing wrong with your keyboard. just just type and press enter and then when i ask you to repeat it just type and press enter so it won't show the characters it's a kind of security measure and i'm just going to move this over here and so then once you've done that then you're all set up and you're ready to go in, in the linux uh, terminal. So there's another video on, on commands in the Linux terminal, but here we're just going to focus on how to install OpenFoam or get OpenFoam set up ready to use in this Linux uh, terminal. And also to mention that this is the fully functional Linux computer, and it's just there's no uh, graphic environment. So on my Windows here behind, I can see there's a nice graphic desktop with buttons I can double click on. So if you install uh, Ubuntu yourself on your own computer, um, on a partition of your hard drive, you'll have the same graphic environment. Um, but this is just a terminal to Ubuntu. So, Ubuntu. so still a Ubuntu computer, it's just it doesn't have the graphic interface. Okay, so next steps. Um, if you go to Brightspace, there will be some commands there to install OpenFoam uh, that look like uh, this. So these four commands here, and they all come from the OpenFoam um, org uh, website. And um, so download, run on Windows, and those commands are just coming from here. So we just copy each command once at a time. So command C, and then uh, you can just right click. Right clicking will actually paste in the terminal. Um, but you can also enable options here if you go properties. And um, you can uh, tick this box if you want to use Control Shift C or V is copy and paste. So typically on, on Linux, it's not control C, it's control shift key to C to copy and control to shift V to paste. And um, so if you just uh, type the first one, press enter, and um, because it's a pseudo command, that means it's an admin command. So it'll ask you to type your password to, for the first one. So just type your password, press enter. And um, so then if you just do the same thing with the second and the third one, so they should be relatively quick commands. And then the last one, sudo app get install, and that this is the one that actually installs OpenFoam, and this one will take a little bit longer. Yeah, so once you're done with uh, done with that, that's OpenFoam installed. 
So the last thing you have to do just to configure uh, OpenPUM, just to set it up so that you can use the OpenPUM commands is you just copy this uh, line there and then you just paste it in and press and press enter. Okay, I didn't paste it there. We just copy this line in, paste it, press enter. And uh, so all of these commands you only have to And so then um, after you've done all of that, you can just close out your Ubuntu and then open it again. And that will reread that configuration file. And so they explain here, you can just force it to be reread, but it's easier just to close the terminal and reopen it. Um, and then you can check if uh, if OpenFOAM is installed and working. So if you just type simple phone, which is an OpenFOAM solver using a simple algorithm, just type simple phone dash help. Um, and if you get this message, it means it worked. So if you were to type a command that doesn't exist, you just mash the keyboard, press enter, and it'll just say command not found. So if you get simple phone command not found, then it means OpenFOAM wasn't installed and one of those previous commands uh, must have failed. And so you're all done now with, with open phone ready uh, to go. And uh, the last thing is you uh, is you want to install Paraview. Um, and the easiest way to set up Paraview and Paraview is a software for visualizing open phone cases. So open phone by default doesn't have a built-in visualization software. It's just the terminal toolbox for running uh, solvers. So if you want to look at your mesh and look at the results, you can use a free program called Paraview. So just search search in your a browser for PowerView and go to download and then just make sure you're on the correct ver uh, the correct uh, versions of your Windows or Linux or Mac on Windows. Obviously here, just uh, download the EXE. So whichever one says EXE, just download that and then just go next, 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 install it. And then you should have uh, PowerView installed. So it look like uh, this basically. Um, and then once you have that set up, then you're ready to go. So whenever you open a terminal, it'll automatically load uh, this version of OpenFOAM, and then you're you're ready to um, ready to use OpenFOAM. So that's the end of uh, this tutorial.